Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on in this video is the definition of a variable. So what is a variable? Now, a lot of you out there probably already know what a variable is and have a, a probably a real good idea of um, what what a variable is and you know what to do with one, right? Uh, but some of you might just be reviewing algebra or coming out of uh, basic math and maybe start you're starting maybe a pre-algebra course, etc. And you really need to have a good understanding of what a variable is. So let's go ahead and ask the question again. What is a variable? Well, in its most simplest term, a variable is nothing more than a placeholder for a number. So right off the bat, okay, and by the way, we're looking at examples of variables here. These are just symbols that can represent a number, okay, or represent a value. So a box, for example, a box symbol could represent a number an X okay or a Y or this symbol here which is a pi okay pi symbol in the Greek alphabet represents the famous number pi 3.15 etc it keeps going on forever and ever so instead of writing that number we just gonna assign a, a symbol to it okay or a variable so here's another one and here's some other ones you might want to see these in trig trigonometry theta gamma um, and then here's another really extremely important one in math e but the most important thing that you have to realize is that variables represent a number. So this is, uh, if you kind of think back in like an elementary school, okay, your basic math when you're, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old, I mean, really what are you doing? You're doing things like four plus 10, maybe you're working with fractions, 10 over 15. You're, you're working with numbers, okay? And then as you make a transition into algebra, what we start doing is we start we basically are doing the same type of operations but instead of numbers we start to work with variables so we might have like x plus y or x over y okay but remember these symbols or these letters still represent numbers and that's why oftentimes um, as a teacher I'll look back and if, if at a student's um, history and if they didn't do well in elementary school, they're definitely not going to do well in algebra, okay? Because really, algebra is like doing arithmetic, but you're doing arithmetic with with variables, okay? So you have to think to yourself, okay, these these are symbols and letters, but really I'm going to treat them as if they were a number. So, um, you know, you still have to know how to deal with fractions and how to multiply, etc. okay? Especially fractions. A lot of students are weak in fractions, and that comes up over and over again in algebra. So right off the bat, um, a variable is a placeholder. Okay, so that really answers the, what is the definition of a variable. And um, if you think about it, you've been dealing with variables way back when you were in probably first grade or second grade. And if you remember problems like this, I certainly remember them. Let's say you have a box plus two equals five. Okay, so your teacher would give you something like that and or say, okay, something here something we're going to pl plug into this box plus two equals five and all the kids would be like oh yeah pick me pick me I know I know I know you know they're raising their hands or yeah, help help you know I want to you know I want the lollipop or I want you know whatever um, reward they're going to get because they know they're thinking to themselves oh yeah if I plug a three into here that's going to make that true and really this right here this box plus two equals five is an equation so without even Without you even realizing it, you were doing algebra way back uh, when you were in uh, five, six, seven years old. Okay, because this box, I could certainly just put an x there, right? X plus two equals five. Now your teacher wasn't teaching you everything like subtract two from both sides of the equation, etc. But conceptually, you were doing algebra. Okay, and this concept of a placeholder for a number, you know, was taught to you early on. Okay, but in algebra and beyond, generally speaking. Um, the variables that you're going to be using are lower lowercase uh, letters x y z um, things like this e and pi they're reserved for really important numbers and then in trigonometry and in calculus we use some other um, type of variables that come up but anyways hopefully this video was uh helpful and uh a little at least a little bit interesting and maybe a tiny bit entertaining you know i try not to bore you try to help you out so Please come over to our site, algebratesthelper.com. We have uh, many, many free videos, tutorials, um, all designed to make math easy to learn. Okay, 
and have a great day. Good luck and take care.